Hey YouTubers, this is Scrap Networks, I'm Adam. I just want to show you guys some different shapes and sizes of tantalum, tantalum capacitors. Now, um, we all know that tantalum capacitors have a special, as you can see that it's a line and it's got a positive symbol at the bottom of it and you also have those with a K with that same symbol on the flip side I don't know if you guys can see that but some come in mustard colors some come in a dark green they come in various colors but what you want to look for is that line and a positive symbol on there um, a lot of them don't come in there but we know that they um, they are magnetized you know so metals do attract them and we all are familiar with these capacitors these are different shapes and sizes some come thicker and flatter than others have thick and long ones you have flat and long and you know and we always and we have the very tiny ones and they still got the same symbol on them and we also have some black ones you see that symbol? It had the line and the positive symbol on it. And these come in all different shapes and sizes, and they're all over computer boards, all over the place, you know. And a lot of guys pass them up, you know. I I like to collect them, you know. They're worth a um, pretty decent price per pound, and I just think it's something to collect, you know, while I collect my gold and silver. You know, because uh, gold and silver, you're going to make hundreds of dollars off an ounce. But with tantalum, here's another different. I'm sure everyone is familiar with. You see these things all over computer boards. But with tantalum today, I'm guessing it's uh, close to 300 per pound. And that's pretty good if you can collect those so, let me move them all in it's just something I do collect I collect them all and I throw them all in a big jar so it's a satisfactory amount but I just want to show you guys a few samples of what tantalum looks like and if you guys want to start collecting them, then, you know, so be it. I showed you some how to extract them off the board with a flathead screwdriver. It's easy. You know, just pop them off and then move on to extracting uh, whatever other parts you want. But other than that, you know, um, just start stockpiling. All right, guys. Thanks. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Thank you.